Hi there, my name is Mark Renison from Third Shot Sports. I'm a professional pickleball coach, and if you're like most brand new pickleball players, keeping score might be giving you some trouble. That's what this video is all about. Before we get into this video, you might want to hit that subscribe button. We post tons of videos here at Third Shot Sports, and I think you're going to like them. All right, now sit back, relax, and learn how to keep score. When players hit the ball back and forth over the net, it is called a rally. And the objective of any rally is to keep the ball in play once more than your opponents do. If you hit the ball in the net, or out of bounds, that's bad for you. And we could say that your opponents won that rally. The same is true if you get hit by the ball. If your team hits shots that the other team can't get back in play, you win the rally. And that's good for you. This is no different than tennis, or badminton, or ping pong you're trying to put the ball in play more than the other team. Okay, got it? Let's move on. All right, so now you understand what a rally is and how you win one. But here's where things get a little funny. Just because you win a rally doesn't mean you win a point. Here, let me show you what I mean. With regular pickleball scoring, teams can only earn a point if they win the rally when they were the serving team. Here, I'll walk you through it. All right, we're joining a match already in progress. We've got Truck and Shoe taking on Cob of Corn and Radish. And when we pick up the action here, Radish is the one that's serving. There's the net in the middle. And Radish serves diagonally. The players have a rally. And you'll see here that Truck puts the ball in the net. That's good for Radish and Corn. They're happy to win that rally. And because they were serving, they also earn a point. Now, when you win a rally, when your team is serving, your reward is that you get to keep serving. So Radish continues serving, and there's another error from the truck and the shoe. Because they were serving, Radish and Corn get that point because they won the rally when serving, and Radish's reward is it gets to keep serving. They continue to have the point, and you see this time Radish and Corn hit the ball in the net. Now, Radish's penalty is that it no longer gets to serve, but before they give the ball to the other team, Corn gets a chance to serve. Now, Truck and Shoe don't win a point for winning the rally. You only win points if your team is serving. There's another point for Corn and Radish after that ball was hit into the net. And Corn's reward when you win a rally when serving is you get to keep serving. Now, in this case, Corn and Radish made an error. No point for Truck and Shoe. But the penalty is that Corn and Radish lose that serve, and since both players have had a chance to serve and lost it, it's a side out. Truck and Shoe get to serve. They serve and win the rally, and when you serve and win the rally, you earn a point, and that server gets to continue serving. It's the first server gets to continue serving. Now with that error in the net, Shoe loses its serve, but that means it's Truck's turn to serve. Truck is the second server. Oh, but after missing that ball into the net, the first server, Shu, has lost its serve. The second server, Truck, has lost its serve. So that means it's a side out, and it goes back to the other team. This time, Corn is the first server. Corn hits the ball on the net. You know what that means. Lose your serve. It goes to the second server, in this case, Radish. And again, the points will continue to work like that until one team gets to 11. All right, you with me so far? So an exchange back and forth over the net is called a rally, and if one team makes a mistake, the other team wins that rally. Now, if you were the serving team when you win that rally, your team gets a point. But if you were the receiving team when you win that rally, you don't get a point yet, but you do prevent that server from continuing to serve. Maybe now it's their partner's turn to serve. Or if both the first and second server have lost their serve, then it's a side out and your team gets to serve. So now that you have a handle on the scoring and the rotations, let's look at it in real life. In this game, the score is tied at 3. So we would say the score is 3-3. Three, three. The woman serving is her team's first server. So we would say the score is 3-3 three, three, first server, or 3-3-1. Three, three, her opponents hit the ball in the net. And since her team was serving, that means her team scores a point. When calling the score, you always say the serving team score first, followed by the returning team score, followed by which server is serving, the first or the second. The score is now 4-3, first server, 
or we would say 4-3-1. She and her partner switch sides since they can't serve from the same side twice in a row. Her serve lands out of bounds. Her punishment is that she no longer gets to serve. But since she was the first server for her team, that means her partner now takes over serving duties. We would say the score is 4-3 second server, or 4-3-2. With an unreturned serve, his team wins the rally and the point. The score is now 5-3-2, and the serving team switches sides. This time, the returners win the rally. They don't score a point since they weren't serving, but they do take away the serve from the person who served it. And since this person was the second server, that means it's a side out. The returners get the ball and a chance to serve and score. A moment ago, the score was called 5-3, but since the opposite team is now serving, the score is called 3-5. Remember, you always say the serving team score first, so the score is now 3-5-1. The serve is hit out of bounds, so the server loses the right to serve. His partner takes over serving, which means the score is now 3-5-2. His serve is out of bounds as well. Both servers have lost their serve, which means this is a side out and the ball is given to the other team. The score which was 3-5-2 is now 5-3-1. That is, the team that's serving has 5, the team receiving has 3, and it's the first server. The serving team wins the rally, which means they earn a point. They switch sides, and the server continues serving with the score 6-3-1. With the return of serve hit into the net, the servers score another point. They now lead 7-3-1. After missing this shot in the net, the server loses her right to serve, and her partner takes over. The score is now 7-3-2. With this ball landing out, the servers have both oh. lost their serves. And with the side out, the score is now 3-7-1. The game continues until one of the teams wins 11 points, with at least a 2-point lead. After the game is over, teams typically come to the net and tap paddles or shake hands. So hopefully things are getting a little clearer now. If your team wins the rally when you're the serving team, you score a point and that person continues to serve. If you win a rally when you're the receiving team, you take the serve away from that particular server. And once you've taken the serve away from both servers, your team gets the ball, that's called a side out, and your team gets to serve and try to score points. Now there's one more funny thing you need to learn. Remember how the first server gets to serve until they lose their serve and then it goes to the second server? That's true, that's how it works except at the very beginning of a game. For reasons we don't need to go into here, at the very beginning of the game, the score is called 002, 00 second server. And that person serves until they lose their serve. And like all the other times when the second server loses their serve, it becomes a side out, the same is true at the beginning of a game. I know it's strange, don't worry about why it's the case. Just remember, at the beginning of a game, the score is 002. And as soon as that server loses their serve, it's a side out. All right, so there you have it. That's how you keep scoring pickleball. Really appreciate that you watched us. If you have a question, send me an email, mark at thirdshotsports.com. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get all the new videos that we publish. Finally, thanks to our very good friends over at Selkirk Sport. If you are a new pickleball player, you are definitely going to want to check them out. They make the best paddles in the business. See you next time.